2014. Hello everybody, so my name is Nicolas Sore, um, truly going for my Deutsch, uh, and sorry for my English, I will, I will present you Bubble TV. So Bubble TV is a live dynamic uh, visualization uh, of TV viewers' tweets uh, on stage and on screen. Uh, it was designed for France Television and uh, used during the show, Le Grand Webze. But let me give you a bit of uh, context to start. Uh, France Television is a long-time partner of, um, of ERI, and we provide France Television with concepts and technologies uh, to, to uh, focusing on new narrative form, uh, um, user contribution, and social interaction. So in that sense, ERI could be considered as a, as a format maker, according to the conference syllabus. What is interesting is uh, the composition of the team at ERI. It is made of designers, uh, developers, and philosophers. And therefore, the concepts manipulated in our production are truly coming out of a, um, a deep thinking process, including seminars, uh, paper research, uh, experimentation, etc. And that's exactly what interested uh, France Television when they came on board uh, at ERI. So how, how it started? Um, researchers from ERI and Aviz from uh, INRIA collaborated in 2002 12 uh, for the Google DataViz challenge. And the challenge was uh, to create a data visualization for the French presidential election in 2012. And the project Bubble Tea, that you see here, uh, won the second prize. It received a lot of visibility in the media. And therefore, the producer from France, uh, France 5, uh, which is one of the channels of the FTV group, uh, got to know about it and started to be very excited about the concept because they could foresee the potentiality for uh, social TV. So they contacted us as a long-time partner and to see if this concept could be used for one show called Le Grand Webze. So Le Grand Webze at that time was a live, sh live TV show. It was dedicated to web culture and uh, emerging talent on, uh, online. And for the pilot of the season two, the producers were really willing to experiment uh, on new concepts, new technologies, uh, and even open for experimental scenarios. So together, researchers and designers from ERI and Aviz um, engage in a collaboration with the production team of France 5 to imagine a new scenario applying to the show. So it was really about designing a, a true social TV experience. So, this is uh, the show behind. Bubble TV is a dynamic visualization of the audience tweets. It is fully integrated in the show. Uh, the visualization is live, which means when you send a tweet, it arrives in real time on screen or on stage. And in our scenario, it was used as a voting system. So the audience was asked whether one of the hosts, François Rollin, which you see here, will stay or should live in the next show. It was a bit silly. But the whole show is a bit silly. <laughs> so, how it works. Each tweet is encoded in a small bubble, and the bubble is textured with the avatar of the uh, user of Twitter. The bubble are launched from the top left of the screen. It rem might remember you uh, Angry Birds, maybe. And it fills a bar chart according to the hashtag of the tweet. So the way the visualization is integrated in the show was carefully designed. Uh, the visualization can be both projected on stage behind the host, like here, or shown full screen as a dynamic insert. Uh, moreover, the visualization itself has two modes. The basic mode, uh, it shows only the visualization, so bubbles fall and peels up. Or it could be monitored, uh, where the community manager can control the visualization do some rollover over the tweets, and sometimes push selected tweets um, uh, for a preview and for the, the, the TV viewers to read. And we also had a, a tweet counter that was displayed on screen um, as an insert over an element of the stage. So as you see, this could be done only from one camera POV, point of view. So during the show, the, 
way the resolution was shown and told, told uh, this was driven by the host and by the, the event on stage. The only suggestion we made as designer was to be very clear on how the visualization will, will be introduced to the audience. Uh, every new system, every new interaction needs a clear social protocol and to be adopted by the user. And in Transmedia, this is basically the rule of the game. And that's a very important aspect in Transmedia projects. Uh, and it must be integrated in the storytelling. So what made Bubble TV successful here, uh, it was the time that the host uh, took to explain uh, the social protocol. And that, that made Bubble TV an important part at the end of the storytelling of the show. So first, the, show, the, uh, the host introduced the voting system. So the question asked to the audience, uh, should uh, the host leave or stay in the in the, next, uh, in the next show. The hashtags for answering, so he stays, he leaves, who's that? And the last one was change your manners. And introduce finally the community manager who will monitor the visualization. So the vote uh, goes on. Diaz avec marqué il part, I-L-P-A-R-T. Ajouter au Sorry dièse, for the French. LGW, des gens comprennent. Si vous voulez qu'il reste, vous pouvez mettre un hashtag, un dièse avec marqué « il reste ». Expliquez-nous le tweet. concept de hashtag. Euh, eh bien, dans un rigue. petit tweet, un petit message court, on met un hashtag pour repérer de quoi ça on parle. C'est un hashtag. dièse, en fait. Hashtag, c'est dièse. So, the vote goes on and regularly Bubble TV is projected on stage as a background, like here. From time to time, the hosts look at it. Uh, they spend a minute commenting the activity. And when commenting, a full screen insert is, uh, is displayed. And again, from time to time, the host uh, asks the community manager to make a short report with selected tweets. Oui, oui. <laughs> Où en est-on, Françoise <laughs> Florence <laughs> Bebe. Gérard Et jeu, Bebe. Alors, Guy Darbois, vous nous... <laughs> Où est-ce qu'on en est de ce jeu Eh bien, les internautes veulent toujours que François Rollin reste, mais quand même, le hashtag « c'est qui » remonte. Hein, euh, voilà, ouais. Bientôt dépassé le « il part ». Donc, écoutez, je suis ça avec intérêt. Et sinon, j'ai un tweet plutôt sympathique à ah. vous montrer. Alors, je l'affiche tout de suite. Et c'est... Euh, Hilbert 21 qui dit l'Internet est tout de même le premier média à réunir les médias. Après la télé sur le net, le net est à la télé. Parfait. Eh bah ben c'est bon ça. Ouais. Et bah ça, est-ce qu'on peut se le garder de côté pour la prochaine fois qu'on devra expliquer le principe de l'émission ah, je... redire... So let's have a look uh, more, more precisely at the design of the, of the visualization. Uh, the design space is based on a physical model. Gravity, mechanical force. So um, the design area has boundaries. Uh, separating the beans of the bar chart. N you can notice that the, um, the physical mod uh, for, for in this physical model, the boundaries need to be physical uh, so that the bubble cannot cross them. The beans themselves are divided in two areas. On the top, the recent tweet pileup, and below, an aggregation of the older tweets. So coming from the transformation of individual individual tokens into a continuous aggregated area. Uh, and this is updated every time the bubbles disappear. So I think you understood uh, the design metaphor is uh, sedimentation. Uh, you know that rocks and sediment accumulate thanks to gravity, they aggregate, they produce a sedimentation in the strata, and the strata are the witness of the time past. So we mapped this principle Uh, so that to, to what we called uh, visual sedimentation. It's simple, the token, tokens fall, they aggregate together, and they are transformed into a continuous aggregated areas. In the case of Bubble TV, the tokens are tweets, but any data, any data stream could be used. So in a context of active and participative audience, Bubble TV was designed to engage and organize online participation of the audience at the very heart of the TV show, on screen, on stage, and live. So at the end, it provided a complete social protocol for transmediatic interaction. Bubble TV engaged TV viewers by providing them uh, live visual feedback. Here, here I see myself on TV when I tweet. Social awareness, uh, here I am amongst the other. This is how I position myself uh, amongst the other. 
And finally, empowerment. Here, here uh, we interact and we debate, we debate, and we come up with a kind of collective decision that the production might follow eventually. So in fact, so the later paper, uh, research paper, and theorization of visual sedimentation uh, tells us that bubble TV is more, uh, is more than an, just an informative uh, visualization. Informative visualization basically uh, is useful to find what you don't know yet. But bubble TV uh, came up as a performative uh, visualization. Performative just like uh, this brilliant New York Times uh, visualization following the elimination of Ben Laden. I don't know if you, I guess you know it. Um, this uh, process invited you to interact and to edit one pixel of the data viz by positioning yourself emotionally about, this, about uh, the killing of Ben Laden. So that's basically data collection embedded into vi uh, data visualization. That's very interesting. So at first, Bubble TV was meant to appear four or five times during the show. And finally, it appeared almost all the time, on stage and on screen. Um, and ended up really uh, involved into the narration of the show. Sometimes the driving, uh, sometimes it drives the show with inputs from audience. And that was really a surprise and a success. A surprise for the host, for producers, and for us. Bubble TV also had an impact on the audience online, since half of all the people who have actively tweeted and 40% of tweets use the provided hashtags. For this show, the number of tweets got multiplied by two compared to the preceding season, and eventually Bubble TV was on air. Sadly, Bubble TV was on air for this only one pilot since season two never started. However, uh, Bubble TV was used by France Television uh, in the propag propaganda video promoting innovation at France Television. So after Bubble T and Bubble TV, the researchers implemented a generic JavaScript library to make dynamic visualization out of any data stream. This project called Visual Sedimentation was awarded Best Posters in 2012 at InfoViz conference and was published again as a long paper last year at the Viz 13 conference. What it tells us, I think maybe that's a lesson for, the lesson for, for this project, what it tells us is that broadcasters and researchers have a lot to do together, um, a lot to expect from their collaboration. It shows how important it is to have open sandbox for experimentation. As a former new media producer myself, I know the difficulty to push new concepts, to push new formats uh, on TV, and Bubble TV was the evidence that broadcasters have a lot to win uh, from free experimentation. We, you have to know that a week before the, the show, producers just told us, you, don't worry, if it doesn't work, uh, we'll do without, we'll improvise. Um, and that's very new on TV. Imagine that two hours before the show was live on air, we didn't know yet how the room control would handle our display output. Uh, it was the very first time that France TV um, broadcasted HTML JavaScript display, because this is all HTML, instead of a heavy graphic insert coming from a closely dedicated system. So this was a signal from, from the web on TV, and it worked. Thank you. <laughs>